a warm welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the inbuilt troubleshooting systems within Windows 10. It's also available in Windows 8.1. How do we get here? We just basically click over there and then troubleshoot. Okay. And then you click on that and it opens up that. So let's say, for example, we were having problems with the home group or the network adapter or the printer or shared folders. Anything, literally, okay? And then you could have a quick look at other things, for example, troubleshooting audio recording, okay, hardware and sound, program issues, network and internet, system and security issues, okay? Fix problems with Windows Update, for example, or run maintenance tasks. All these things are quite useful. So let's assume we were having problems with the network, okay? We click on that, okay? And let's assume we had a home group problem. Okay, it pops up with the screen and it basically will go ahead and try and find its own problems. Okay, troubleshoot network problems or skip this step. And generally what it does, it fixes things either by resetting or by going back to default values. There are a few times when it actually finds some nice novel ways to repair things or it takes you on to further options, how do you get help, etc. Okay. Another way of troubleshooting Windows by yourself, okay, on your own, is basically to go to Microsoft and go to the Fix It website. Okay, and this has a lovely way of diagnosing and fixing problems. They also have little, shall we say, software downloads that you can download to fix a problem. Okay. So there's two quick ways that you can try and resolve problems before needing to call expensive tech support or send your PC away, etc. Hopefully this has helped. Thank you for watching.